We are at the Royal Botanical Garden and here you see the Darling Harbour, the Harbour Bridge, the famous Sydney Opera House. We are still searching for Mrs. McQuarrie's chair. See all the big corporates out here. So there's a jogging track, you can find people walking and jogging across, lots of visitors like me. They've got a huge collection of trees. Uh, so we are still treading the path inside the botanical garden uh, and we are heading towards Macquarie's chair. There's in some inscription there. When you climb up these steps at uh, Mrs. McQuarrie's chair, you get uh, another view of the Opera House. So there you see this uh, small terrace kind of thing, a balcony where you can get another view. Let's go towards it. So 
can see we are at an elevated platform right now we get to see the Sydney observation tower There's a train passing through the harbour bridge. So if you see it's a small line moving across. There you go. Oh, there you see the Harbour Bridge and the Opera House once again. So we came somewhere from there and now we have just it's like a small filter where we have climbed. We just go down the stairs and back to the main roads through the King's Spa Royal Botanical Garden. So we all started from there. We have the Miss McWare's chair out there. Kept walking through the jogging track, uh, almost a semicircular, you can say. And finally, here we are just heading towards, heading closer to Opera House. So, there you go. Close the views of Opera House. Wow, magnificent. We'll just go in front of it now. So here, using flowers, they have written pollination. You root rain out here that runs occasionally uh, finally we are at the Pera house with some journey a genuine message on no plans no future on sustainability <laughs> Iconic structure. It's an exciting moment for me to be here at the opera. You can see the harbour bridge from there. Vehicles moving around. We'll also try to visit the bridge very soon. See here, you have the arches. Mom, 
Well, let's see how the bay, bay even from the opera house. So we are right now at the Opera House, just standing below. You can see the harbor bridge out there. There's a cruise sailing across. Lots of seagulls out here. There you see a giant wheel similar to the London Eye. So we have just come one stage down and uh, here you find a lot of food options out here. So we have just come across the food court area. Now heading towards the other side to one end of the harbor bridge.
so here you have the circular key station and the trains uh, these are i guess these are metro or sydney transport sydney trains arriving here So we have come a long way across now from Miss Mackers chair to Circle Lake Station. Almost a walk of say three, three kilometers maybe. So we are now boarding the ferry to go to the Milsons Point from where you will get a good uh, view. So I uh, took a, an Opel car, topped up with uh, $10 and came to Milson Point. So this is just uh, diagonally opposite to the other side of the bay, crossing the uh, harbour bridge. Uh, so I took the ferry. So it's, it's similar to this one. And here you get marvellous uh, views of the Sydney Opera House and the Sydney CBD and also the Harbour Bridge so there is a walk away on the Harbour Bridge and uh, I'll just try to reach this point from where I can walk towards the Opera Harbour so I've just climbed up and reached the place from where I can walk across the Harbour Bridge 
this beautiful view of North Sydney. In a few minutes from now, you'll be able to see the opera house. So you've started seeing the opera house. There you go. You're still walking across the harbour bridge. It's a long, long walk to happen. We came all over from there. While I hold the camera, my handicap on the railing, the bridge is literally shaking. Jan kyu log pyar karte hain? Jan kyu kisi pe marte hain? Jan kyu? जाने क्यों जाने क्यों जाने क्यों जाने क्यों गाइस दिस इज हार्बर ब्रिज वी आर वॉकिंग अक्रॉस द हार्बर ब्रिज मेरा दिल चाहता है वर्ड शर्ट एंड देयर वंस अगेन अ व्यू ऑफ द मैग्निफिकेंट ओपरा हाउस So you can see some yachts over there. Uh, the area around. So there you have the McQuarrie chair somewhere inside, hidden. And the Prior House again, bright and clear. Wonderful weather. So I'll continue to walk through this bridge and enjoy the marvelous views as I continue to sing the Dil Chata as well. So this is probably one of the closest points. I'm almost at the center of the harbor bridge. See the, how it's shaking? The bridge is vibrating with all the vehicles passing through. Let's zoom in and see. So you'll find so many people out there near Opera House. So people from there can't see people here, but people from here can't see people there. It's a massive stretch. So you see there people are queuing up to have a view of the Sydney CBD and the Opera House from the top of Harbour Bridge. It's quite a cold weather today, around 7 or 8 degrees with a good wind around. So I can understand how chilly it will be. Uh, unfortunately, uh, as it's shot in the movie Dil Chata, you can't walk besides the train because uh, now that's just a bike track or uh, any, uh, you can say a track where you can use any kind of uh, uh, skates, rollers, anything with wheels. So this is the only way we can walk.
can also see the ferry point now, clearly visible from here. CBD. And can we see the observation deck? Yes. The Sydney Tower, yes, there you can see that. Just hiding behind these buildings. And you have the ferries. Just about to finish this entire stretch of walking. Uh, so there you see the final moments. Island lookout, another observation deck. From there, uh, again, you get the panoramic view of the city, both sides of the harbor bridge. We just walk across uh, the bridge right now, and uh, you can again see the CBD area, with all the tall buildings, the Sydney observation tower. So, the journey is just uh, ending. So, it's been an amazing experience for us walking across the harbour bridge after crossing using the ferry from Circular uh, Key to Milsons Point. So we have now finished crossing the harbour bridge from the side of Milsons Point to we are back to the side of Circular Key. It's been a chilling uh, day today with the weather around 6-7 degrees I have worn three layers of insulation clothing it's quite windy quite chilly but luckily clear skies which has uh, helped us in enjoying the entire day